Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do my second review of the Banggood.com product that Ellison had sent me and it is a UV lead soak off gel product. It's LQN and it's a metallic type polish and I'll open it up here so you can see the color. It's a really nice green metallic color. And the color number is 021 and I will put the link to this product below in the description as well as I will have nail art links and also a 10% code which you see above right now down in the description. Anyways, the tip I'm showing you right here, I had put a builder on both of them. I had uh, then filed them and I added white to one. And the one we're going to be working with first is just the pink one. And what I'm doing now is I'm putting, this is a very important step, I'm putting a no wipe top coat on it. It works best, this metallic polish, with that no wipe top coat. So make sure if you're going to buy this, you do have a no wipe top coat to put below. And then we're going to cure that for 60 seconds in my combo UV LED light. It would be two minutes in just a UV light. Just a nice thin coat and you want to cap those edges. I'm going to put it on the white one as well and we'll be doing something different with it in a bit here. But I might as well cover it up with a no white top coat because I'm going to need that for later. Okay, while well, we're waiting for those to cure, um, a really important step as well with this metallic polish is you want to shake it well because it is metallic. So we'll give it a good shake while we're waiting. Okay, they're now cured. So I'm going to apply it to the pink nail. And what you want to do is nice long strokes and just very thinly apply it. It almost is like a varnish. It will actually dry on its own. So what I recommend is letting it sit for a couple minutes. You could even let it sit three minutes if you have the time. And you'll see here as it uh, sits how it's darkening. You still want to put it in the UV LED light. So once I'm with happy with it drying, which you can see it's very dry now, it's turning very metallic-y, we're going to put it in the light for 60 seconds. Okay, so that time's up. So when it goes to the lamp, Okay, now it's cured. Now I'm going to take that polish again and I'm just going to do another coat, another thin coat. I just want it a little deeper, darker. So we're going to add that second coat. One coat would almost be enough with this. Okay, again, I'm going to let it sit. There, it's been sitting a bit, so we'll put it back in. Now that it's fully cured, we're going to add that no wipe top coat again. And now with this, if I was doing it on a client, I'd probably do one coat, cure it for 60 seconds, and then I would do that second coat and cure it. But just because I'm doing it on this tip, I'm only going to show you with, with one top coat. Look how nice the polish is. I so far absolutely love this metallic polish. It goes on really nice and it cures really nice. So definitely if you like metallic type polishes, Definitely worth buying. Make sure you have that no white top coat to put it on though. And there it is, it's very pretty. Okay, 
So I was playing around with it, like I said, before I did this video and I discovered something really, really good. Uh, you can actually stamp with it and it stamps really nice, which is just awesome. Um, so when you buy it, you would get two actually uses out of it, which is a bonus, of course. So we're going to stamp this nail and I'll show you how well it stamps. Okay, there's the design. It looks good. It's nice and crisp. As I push down, you can see how well it stamps it. There it is. Love it. How nice it's stamped. So I'm going to take a brush with some acetone. I'm just going to wipe away the mess around it. Um, normally on a client, I'd probably leave it to the end to wipe all the mess off. But just because it's the, um, the nail practice hand, I have a little more room. So I'm going to get rid of that right now. I have a couple of minutes anyways, because if you remember from the last finger, I let it sit for a couple of minutes and dry a bit. And then you can uh, pop it in the light for 60 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to put a no wipe top coat on it now that it's been cured. And that'll cure again for 60 seconds. And if you want, stick that second coat on and cure it. Make sure you cap those edges again. Okay, now that they've been cured, they look wonderful. I highly recommend this product. I just love it. And I know it comes in a few different colors, so definitely worth checking out. I give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.